Good morning, this is Darren Redman on Wednesday, April 25th for FHT Sports Redman's Wrap-Up. We had only one game of note yesterday in and around the Central Valley uh, that we will report on today, and that was the Fresno State Bulldogs, as they had a little bit of revenge on their mind as they took on CSUN back at Fresno State. It was about a week ago where Northridge came in and throttled Fresno State for a surprising victory. So I was not surprised last night to see that uh, uh, Fresno State Bulldogs came out swinging, three home runs overall, led by Bustoli, who had uh, a three for five night, two runs scored, home run, and uh, the Fresno State Bulldogs put a hurtin' on Northridge, defeating them eight to two. They are now 24 and 16 overall, but a very vicarious uh, nine and 12 in the Mountain West. That leads to what's coming up this weekend, and Air Force is coming. I don't need to tell you. Bring the family. Bring the kids. Uh, these people put their lives on the line for uh, for us and for our freedoms. Uh, but uh, Fresno State Bulldogs are going to look to beat them in the friendly competition called baseball. So uh, this weekend over at Fresno State, uh, Biden Field, come on out, watch the Fresno State uh, Bulldog baseball team take on Air Force. Uh, should be a great weekend, and we look forward to bringing you those results. Tonight, a lot on the docket. Uh, first, we have uh, the uh, Fresno Grizzlies are back home, finally, after a long uh, road trip. And uh, they're going to be playing the Tacoma Rainiers. Uh, Two-game series. It starts tonight. Uh, again, the Fresno Grizzlies are sitting on top of the division, having a great year so far. Uh, a lot of a lot of great pitching. You, you heard about the last performance. Eight strikeouts in a row. Some timely hitting, uh, and really solid defense. They're playing an overall great game. There's not one part of their game that's really standing out more than anywhere else. They look very very focused on the field. The managerial decisions have been uh, excellent in terms of where to play, positioning. Uh, they're really playing an intelligent game. Uh, you know, one is not surprised to see that the World Series, cha World Series champion Houston Astros have such a talented uh, farm team. So we have the Rainiers for a couple of games and then come in uh, Sacramento, the River Cats. You know what that is there. So we'll keep a focus on that. Also tonight, the San Jose Barracuda in the pivotal game three on the road against the Tucson Roadrunners. As you know, both teams are tied 1-1, and this is the best three out of five, so I don't need to tell you the importance of this next game. Uh, you can access down below our interview with uh, legendary coach of the San Jose Barracuda, Roy Summer, and he kind of puts things in perspective. After game one, when they lost, they lost late, he was very confident about what would happen in the next game, and that confidence comes from his years of victories and years of coaching and seeing what the team was doing. And they came out uh, to a big 6-3 victory in Game 2 with three goals in the third period. So I'm very excited uh, to see what happens tonight. Follow our Twitter feed. We'll be giving you updates throughout the evening of the Grizzlies and of the uh, San Jose Barracuda. Now, we all know what's going on tomorrow night. And that is Game 1, San Jose Sharks against the Las Vegas Golden Knights. But I will tell you, defer to uh, Serge, the hockey guru and to uh, Uncle Tony for updates on that. I will leave that to them, even though I definitely have uh, my uh, opinions on that. Tomorrow night is also the NFL Draft. And please, again, go down, take a look at so sort of my thoughts on these misconceptions and myths that uh, and uh, people have concerning the draft. Not that I'm right, trust me. You know, if, if I was right about everything, I'd, I'd never be wrong. And uh, that's certainly not the case. However, it's a strategy. I always take a long-term view of the draft. So uh, you'll see my thoughts, and please feel free to comment and share about those as well. So we know we have a lot of action coming up. We have uh, Game 4 of uh, the Barracuda, uh, which would be Friday. Uh, we have the Grizzlies starting their series against Sacramento. We have Fresno State baseball uh, taking on um, here Air Force. And then we have our softball team that we follow as well. It's just kicking in high gear right now, first place in the Mountain West. So a lot to cover. So that's it for today. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow, unless something breaks beforehand that we want to talk about. And again, we'll be talking about baseball soon. I keep bringing it up. Right now, I kind of want things to settle in. A lot going on with the Angels. You know that. The uh, Babe Ruth comparisons. Uh, the hot start by the Boston Red Sox. The hot start by the New York Mets. 
Quite frankly, the hot start about the Philadelphia Phillies, something in the water in Philadelphia, all the teams except for the Flyers, but the Flyers did make the playoffs, are playing well. Uh, so we'll get into that. We'll get into a lot of other things. Houston Astros playing strong as well. And uh, we'll look at some of the competitive races. But right now, we're going to sign off. Please comment, like, share, and uh, make sure you watch uh, Serge the Hockey Guru and you watch my uh, partner as well, Uncle Tony, and what they have to say. And thank you for your support. We are here for you. We love sports because we know you do. Uh, FHT Sports is your one source for all things Central Valley sports and beyond. Have a great day.